Okay. Okay, wait. Let me focus on it. I have to concentrate on it, though. No introductions, just say it. I have to focus on it, just hold on. But... Okay, wait. Princess Silke. That was the entrance. And that's extremely hard. No, it's a very hard note. I just tapped that out of the field. <laughs> so Michael was the least exciting person of all of them. Because it didn't make, make any sense. No, he was very handsome. But it made no sense. I felt a vibrational mismatch. Why would a guy like that want a person like I? I don't see that. A guy like that doesn't like girls like I am. I had no idea. I had no clue what that was. I just went with it. Go with the flow in Spanish. Uh, it seems so vulgar to say. It's not vulgar, it's like corriente. Corriente is not precisely vulgar. It's just not that elegant. Yeah, I heard him, the asshole, saying it. But at the time, it was not bad, not a bad thing. In Spanish, you say, go with the game, go with the game. Go with what is played, go with the melody. Seguir la jug, see? It feels so weird to say, because I don't do that. So that's that. And then I, be, I began to write on behalf in a little notebook. Was it one or two notebooks? Again and again. Okay, well. And then I saw, yeah, the... Uh, okay, it does. It. It's so nice and vibrating. It doesn't matter which color the car or how old. Yeah, giving up. No. Okay, he, now he chose those cars. He, that was his choice. Of course, strong character. His choice. That, that, that. He wasn't giving up on them. Conforming. No, 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 no. That was his choice. I can clearly see that. I don't know what the message was. It's like, doesn't matter which car, you know, you know who I am. It's me and I'm strong. And I even take the worst of the cars, but not in any lamentable form. Not like the Catholic assholes. Just to show. I don't know what exactly. I'm strong, I'm here. Yeah, despite and regardless or whatever. I, I don't know if it, despite and regardless, whatever. I'm strong, I'm here. So you know. I say it again. He was like the least of the... He was like... He, there was the mismatch going on. Uh, he was chancho. <laughs> that's Spanish for a pig. I heard they were very family-oriented. Make no sense. The other one, I can't even remember what it was. Something with nine and five. <laughs> nine and five. Well, I can only say what I'm given. Well, that's his name. I was given that name. It never made sense. The face. It made no sense. The face. Well, barely. So what? So a little teen has got a little crush on, on, on Pixie Boogie. Don't they all? It's no big deal to me. A particular when I'm put out there like in fame now. Tch. I did, she did make me blush. Oh no, she didn't make me blush, I'm joking. <laughs> Is that the fuck? <laughs> yeah, of course. I do not know if I can answer this right now. 
Because I don't have memory about it, so I don't just give out answers. I don't just talk. You ask me if I never thought about it, that would be the only one. And I don't have any memory, but I don't, I'm not saying I didn't. So I have to look into it first before I give you my response. And my immediate response would be, I never really, but then again, I don't give out answers like that. That's why it takes a moment. But I need a moment to, to want me to look into it. The thought of having more than one husband makes me feel overwhelmed. Because I don't know how they manage, because I can't think about myself. I can only think about, and when I, I can only out support from my premises. So I notice I don't even know him, because I wouldn't be able to chair. How could they? It's an enormous what? what? I don't even know that, how that works, so no. It's overwhelming. And then so many of them, it's like even more overwhelming. I don't understand. I don't understand. No, I'm willing and able to say, well, I don't understand. I will get to it. Back to the Steinzeit. Steinzeit. Oh, I have to translate that. The, the Ice Age? <laughs> Ice Age, what a good translation that is. The Stone Age. I'm disgusted, not nicely. About the shits running around here like some assholes. When I was introduced to the actor, I thought it was so cool. I don't even know how that came along, but I remember the day it happened, because I had to park in a different place. And I was asked first how I feel about the actor in terms of him and other actors. So cool, because I like him. I like me a large brain and a deep, profound social consciousness, absolutely. That's like the real person, a real, real person. I wonder which day that was, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Why did I thought it didn't have any. <laughs> I do now. There's only so very few people who understand what I'm doing, which is so impressive. In the opera world, of course. Because it's so impressive. You have to have a really, really fine ear to hear it. Yeah, who can? I don't know exactly who, but I know who again. It's amazing. It's absolutely impressive. <laughs> There's, no word. There's no need to describe it because the words are not important. I have so many different voices in places I put no voice. In so many different circumstances. And I move it around from one to the next. I'm gliding through the uh, repertoire. Yeah, like a, a, what is it, ice skating artist and a dance. It's impressive. I know it, I feel it too. It feels amazing too. Schadenfreude. <laughs> well, how many people could have done that who were interested in singing? Didn't I gave out free lessons? You can still look them up on YouTube. And since when have I talked about it? At this stage, it could have been like, whoo, opera singers. No, not yet. Yeah, you have to step one, and then step two, and then step three. It didn't do step one, of course not. And lost this voice. Oh, it was an ego fuck shit. Some asshole, gay but not fun person. No, he was so horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh yeah, Schadenfreude. I think I know what it means. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, how else would you shut the fuck them up, man? <laughs>